For more on the strike and its impact, I spoke with Josh Haston, Middle East correspondent at Jewish News Syndicate. Josh Haston, thank you so much for joining us. What do you know about this strike so far? So from what we're hearing, number one is that Israel had a direct strike on a Hamas target, and the world is a little bit better of a place this morning. Two master terrorists were killed in this pinpointed strike. Now, I'm sure your viewers, your viewers have seen the uh, circulation there of other videos in which civilians were killed, and that is the case. But what we're learning right now, it has not been confirmed, is in fact when Israel struck that Hamas target, perhaps a vehicle, uh, secondary munitions went off causing the other explosions which led to the civilian deaths. We have to remember, Israel strikes Hamas, Israel targets terrorists. Hamas uses its own people time and time again as human shields and strikes Israel. That is a double war crime, hiding behind their own civilians. They want their civilians to be killed. That's, this is exactly what they're hoping for, so that they can win the PR battle, they can get the sympathy of the world, they can get these international courts turning against Israel. This is exactly the Hamas playbook. We target terrorists, Hamas targets civilians hiding behind their own people. And continue on, on this track, what could the implications of this strike be as Israel faces this mounting international pushback against its war in Gaza? Well, it seems almost every day a different uh, court comes after Israel, but nevertheless, Israel is determined to wipe out the remaining four Hamas battalions in Rafah. Uh, the prime minister has made it clear there is a threefold goal to this war, uh, eliminating Hamas, having our hostage, hostages be returned, and making sure that Gaza is no longer a threat. So despite what the international community, uh, the UN and what have you might say, Israel is has the right to go full force after the October 7th massacre uh, in which 1,200 plus Israelis were murdered. We'll continue until the very end. We will take out Hamas and we are doing a service not only for Israel, but for the entire free world. Uh, Hamas and the other terror organizations view Israel as the little Satan. They view the United States as the big Satan. So we are all in this together and Hamas must be eliminated. Now, Josh, Netanyahu has called this strike that we're talking about uh, a tragic mistake. How could this statement impact the public perception of what, everything that's happening? Well, I would say that the prime minister is erring on the side of caution right now because the images, as we talked about, the images are horrible and making the rounds, especially on social media, on Twitter, you can see all of the anti-Israel sentiment out there. But nevertheless, the facts will come out. Israel is now investigating this fully, an independent military uh, tribunal, if you will, is investigating exactly what happened in Rafa yesterday, and the truth will be told. Let's remember just a few months ago when a hospital was allegedly struck by Israel in northern Gaza, it, turned out, it turns out at the end of the day that that was a Hamas rocket which fell short. So I would not be surprised if we see the same situation here, that this is a self-inflicted wound by Hamas on their own people, as I said, in order to gain sympathy from the world community. All right, Josh Haston, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much.